Good morning, everyone. I hope you're having a good day. Today, let's take a look at our morning message and start by filling in our three blank spots. First, let's take a look at the date. Yesterday, we were here. Yesterday, we celebrated National Nurses Day. We're going to take one jump forward, and this is our number for today. Go ahead and say that number out loud while I add it to our morning message. Now let's go back and find the day of the week. If I find that number seven on my calendar, we're going to slide our finger up. And today is the day that starts with the digraph. Go ahead and say it out loud for me. You can help me spell it while I write it. All right, and then let's talk about our weather. When I look outside today, I thought it was going to be super sunny all week, but it looks like our weatherman didn't get it quite right. It's a little bit gray in the sky at my house. Maybe if you're watching it later, it might have gotten a little sunny. But right now, I will say that the weather looks cloudy. I hope that sun comes out. I love being outside in the sun. All right, let's go ahead and read the beginning of our message together. May 7, 2020. Good morning, K.A. and K.B. Today is Thursday and the weather is cloudy. Let's preview the next sentence to find out what we're going to be doing today. We have a bunch of popcorn words to start our sentence. And then this is a pretty long word, but I would chunk it in half. And when you chunk it in half, you'll stretch the beginning with just these three sounds. Remember, we can stick C and K together just to make one K sound here. Then when you chunk the end, we have a bossy R, so A is going to say nothing. So I would try stretching it two parts and then chunking it back together. This is the name of the character we've been reading about today. Her, the beginning of her name starts with a popcorn word. That's a pretty big clue. When we look at this word, we have a tricky Y at the end that's going to make the E sound. Then we have one of our favorite chunky monkey words. Go ahead and read that sentence on your own. And let's read it together. We will read a backwards Little Red story today. So the read aloud story I have for us today is not about a big bad wolf, but instead it's about a good wolf and then Little Red Riding Hood is not so nice in this story. So that's going to be fun to read that. All right, let's look at the next sentence together. We use this word a lot, but if you don't recognize it, that's okay. When you stretch it, you only want to use three sounds because E and A are going to say nothing here. Popcorn words. When we get to this word, we have a tricky Y at the end. It's going to make the E sound in this word. This is a word that you can stretch with three sounds. This one, I would use that popcorn word chunk in the middle to help you. And then when D and R stand next to each other, we can blend them together and go dur, kind of like the word drum, dur. So I would try kind of stretching and chunking with those three different parts there. Go ahead and read that sentence on your own. And let's read it together. We will learn how to make a yummy hot drink. With Miss Brandy for Writer's Workshop today, you're going to be learning how to make a very delicious hot drink. Usually it might not be something that you drink in the spring, but today it feels a little cooler outside, so it might be something yummy for you to make. It's one of my favorites because it has my favorite topping, which is marshmallows. That's your clue for today. All right, let's read the closing together. Love, Mrs. Rasnick, Miss Brandy, Miss Cortez and Mrs. Donahue. And last, we would like to give a big shout out to David from KB and Emily from KA. 
We are all so proud of you and we hope to see you soon.